This anti-mask children's festival was held last month in Saskatoon. A crowd of maskless parents hugged and talked without physical distancing, and their kids played games and got their faces painted. Saskatoon police have issued nearly a dozen tickets so far to those in attendance for violating public health laws. The current legal maximum gathering size is 10 people. Off-duty police officer Nathan Linchuk was spotted at the event. Saskatoon Police Service launched an investigation into his participation. But before the investigation was over, Linchuk quit. He then posted a long Facebook video downplaying the seriousness of COVID-19 and criticizing public health laws. We are a service to the people, we're not a service to government officials, we're not henchmen for government officials, we serve the people. Linchuk says he was upset by the precautions he was required to take at work because of his attendance at the event. I was gonna have to partake in a rapid test before work in the mornings before work. And since giving you this interview, I, <laughs> I can assure you that I don't believe in doing those things, especially when I feel <laughs> fine. Um, All right on. One doctor says it should be obvious to everyone by now that COVID-19 is a major threat. He said Lynn Chuck's views are unhelpful and dangerous. It just adds to confusion for people. I, I don't think this is the view of the majority of of police or their leadership. A professor of social media says Linchuk is also parroting many of the anti-science nonsense floating around the internet. He says conspiracy theorists will latch on to Linchuk and try to leverage his former position as a police officer. It becomes very powerful, especially for those who already believe and who already drink this Kool-Aid. For others, it may bring a few people over, but most, most people will probably uh, see right through this. Linchuk could not be reached Thursday. Both the Saskatoon Police Service and the Saskatchewan Health Authority did issue emailed statements to CBC. They said they intend to keep enforcing the public health laws and keep the community safe. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.